Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear 8th grade students Today we are going to listen and read But more importantly to listen As I said before Listening is one of the main four skills That can help us to enhance our English language So to be a good listener means that to be a good speaker so please be careful and deal with this skill as careful as you can and try to develop yourself on this part of the four skills شباب مهارة listening مهارة مهمة جدا بتطوير مهارة listening عند الطالب بتطور عند الطالب مهارة speaking ولذلك يجب على الطالب أن يكون حويطا ويدرك أهمية هذه المهارة ويطورها تطويرا عميقا Now let's go to our objectives We are on period 4 and our objectives for today is 1. Recognize different customs for different countries إذن علينا أن ندرك العادات والتقاليد المختلفة لمختلف بلدان العالم. Two, use the new vocabulary in correct contexts. في عنا كلمات جديدة لازم نتعلم كيف نستخدمها استخداما صحيحا. And three, pronounce the new vocabulary correctly. We need to pronounce the new vocabulary correctly because pronunciation can make the, the same word means different meanings. شوف لفظ الكلمات مهم جدا بالنسبة لنا. لأنه لفظ الكلمة الو... اللفظ قد يغير لفظ بسيط قد يغير المعنى تماما and the last thing is to comprehend the issues that that they listen to لإحنا كطلاب يجب أن نفهم ما نسمعه جيدا عملية السماع ترتبط بعملية الفهم وليست سماع اعتباطي يعني بدي أسمع وخلص بل ترتبط بعملية الفهم now let's go to the first section our first section tells us that we need to listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Now what we should do? Listen carefully and repeat. The nisma, لكن أهم من السماع أن نكرر ما نسمعه. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Period 4. Activity 1. As. Celebrate. Custom Dough Hold Husband Purpose Ring Spirit Stick Scotland Spain The Philippines Now please try to guess the meaning of the words using the picture السوء الكلمات اللي بتقدر تخمن معناها باستخدام الصورة Do it, try your best حاول جهدك تخمن معناها Now let me read and you should repeat As As Actually the word as كلمة as هاي المكونة من حرفين فقط تحمل معاني متعددة One of them means because واحدة من المعاني as هو because المعنى الثاني as هو such such أو نفسها such ممكن تكون معناها like okay اللي هو because ممكن يكون معنى because since so, as could have the meaning of because or since, or because or since, لأن as 
ممكن يكون معناها لايك او ساتش ولايك وساتش معناها مثل اوكي ريمبر ذات بليز اوكي and we have celebrate celebrate what are those people doing they are celebrating celebrate 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 custom 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 dough dough this is dough dough hold 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 husband 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 purpose 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 ring 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 spirit 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 stick 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 Scotland, 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 Spain, 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 the Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippines. Okay, now if you could guess the meaning of the words using the pictures or the images, okay, that's that's nice and that's very good. But if you couldn't, now let's go to the examples and ex this exercise activity two okay activity two can help us to guess the meaning of the words اذا ما فهمناش معاني الكلمات السابقة باستخدام الصور خلنا نحاول نحل هذا التمرين ممكن التمرين هذا يساعدنا في فهم الكلمات okay now I let you listen هخليك تسمع بعد ما تسمع Try to fill the gap. How will you to fill the picture? To fill, to fill the gap. And try that with yourself. How will you with yourself, boys? How will you with yourself? After that, pause the video. Pause the video. Watch the video. And give yourself a chance to fill the gap. Give yourself a chance to fill the gap. And then resume to check your answer. Do your answers. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Let's start. Period four. Activity 2 and Activity 3 1. When do Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr? That happens at the end of Ramadan. 2. Oh no! I've broken your plate! Don't worry. I'm sure we can stick the pieces together again. 3. Do you have any traditional wedding customs in your country? Yes. For example, after a wedding, the groom has to carry his new wife into their new home. 4. When you think about it, a baker does something amazing. He starts with a piece of soft, heavy dough that you can't eat. Yes, and it comes out of the oven as delicious bread. 5. At the start of a new year in Japan, People throw salt from their front doors. Why? What's the purpose of doing that? It's to keep bad spirits away from the house for the coming year. 6. Please show us your beautiful wedding ring. Well, all right. If I hold it up to the light, you can see it more clearly. Period 4. Activity 2 and Activity 3. 1. When do Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr? That happens at the end of Ramadan. 2. Oh no! I've broken your plate! Don't worry. I'm sure we can stick the pieces together again. 3. Do you have any traditional wedding customs in your country? Yes. For example, after a wedding, the groom has to carry his new wife into their new home. 4. When you think about it, a baker does something amazing. He starts with a piece of soft, heavy dough that you can't eat. Yes, and it comes out of the oven as delicious bread. 
Five. At the start of a new year in Japan, people throw salt from their front doors. Why? What's the purpose of doing that? It's to keep bad spirits away from the house for the coming year. Six. Please show us your beautiful wedding ring. Well, all right. If I hold it up to the light, you can see it more clearly. Okay. Now let's go to the words itself. Let's read the words and try to understand them and understand the meaning. Are you ready? Period four, activity one. As. Celebrate. Custom. Dough. Hold. Husband. Purpose. Ring. Spirit. Stick. Scotland. Spain. The Philippines. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to this exercise. In this exercise, you have five pictures. One, two, three, four, five. And you have on the other side five countries: China, Japan, USA, Germany, Scotland. You need to know. After listening to the conversation, conversation. After listening to the conversation, you need to know which picture belongs to which country. I'll give you two chances. How do you first team? The first chance. You need to listen to yourself. You need to listen to the dialogue. To the dialogue. I'm sorry. You need to listen to the dialogue and try to guess, and try to so, to answer the question by yourself. How did Hell is Albinafsa? And the other chance, you need to listen and to compare your answers with my answers. So are you ready? Okay, thank you. Let's go. Period four. Activity four. Well, hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about customs. Now, we all come from different countries, so let's tell each other about customs in our countries. Who would like to start? I will, if you like. Fine. Well, in many parts of the world, it's the custom to take a present when you visit someone's home, when they've invited you as a dinner guest, for example. Well, in Germany, we have quite a clear rule. We can take a box of chocolates, or else we can take flowers, and the number of flowers should be twelve. Interesting. Who else has a custom for when you meet people? We have an important one in Japan. In most countries, it's normal to shake hands when you meet, but in Japan, we bow to each other, and there's something that's quite funny to watch. We even bow to each other when we're just talking on the phone. Amazing. Now, what about customs when people are celebrating? Well, our biggest thing is Thanksgiving in November every year. It started in the old days when people came together to give thanks to God for a good harvest, and now it's an important family holiday. People travel from all over the country to be with each other and have their Thanksgiving dinner together. Yes, it's a very important day for Americans. What about other times when people celebrate? Well, here's a New Year custom in Scotland. When the New Year starts at twelve o'clock, we all get in a circle and join hands, and we sing a famous old song together. It's called Old Lang Syne. And while we're singing, everyone moves in and out, so the circle gets bigger and then smaller. It's a lot of fun. That's a good one, yes. And what about another kind of get together? 
Uh, weddings? In China, we've got a very important one when people get married. During the wedding, the young bride and groom go to their parents and they do something very nice for them. They bring tea and offer it to them. It's in order to say thank you to their parents for everything and for the wedding. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Period 4. Activity 4. Well, hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about customs. Now, we all come from different countries, so let's tell each other about customs in our countries. Who'd like to start? I will if you like. Fine. Well... In many parts of the world, it's the custom to take a present when you visit someone's home. When they've invited you as a dinner guest, for example. Well, in Germany, we have quite a clear rule. We can take a box of chocolates, or else we can take flowers. And the number of flowers should be 12. Interesting. Who else has a custom for when you meet people? We have an important one in Japan. In most countries, it's normal to shake hands when you meet. But in Japan, we bow to each other. And there's something that's quite funny to watch. We even bow to each other when we're just talking on the phone. Amazing! Now, what about customs when people are celebrating? Well... Our biggest thing is Thanksgiving in November every year. It started in the old days, when people came together to give thanks to God for a good harvest. And now it's an important family holiday. People travel from all over the country to be with each other and have their Thanksgiving dinner together. Yes, it's a very important day for Americans. What about other times when people celebrate? Well... Here's a New Year custom in Scotland. When the New Year starts at 12 o'clock, we all get in a circle and join hands, and we sing a famous old song together. It's called Old Lang Syne. And while we're singing, everyone moves in and out, so the circle gets bigger and then smaller. It's a lot of fun. That's a good one, yes. And what about another kind of get-together? Uh, weddings? In China, we've got a very important one when people get married. During the wedding, the young bride and groom go to their parents and they do something very nice for them. They bring tea and offer it to them. It's in order to say thank you to their parents for everything and for the wedding. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Thank you very much. Let's move to homework. We have some question. We need to listen carefully again. اسمع كويس للحوار السابق. اللي قبل شوي كنا نسمع and answer this question, those questions on your notebook. اكتب هذول الأسئلة على دفترك وجاوب عليهم. على دفترك وجاوب عليهم. The number of flowers that visitors should take in Germany is five, nine, twelve, two. People in Japan bow to each other when they meet, call, meet or call. The picture shows that, one of the pictures, okay, shows that the main dish in Thanksgiving is turkey, rice, tomato, tomato. The last question, write three sentences to tell us about Palestinian customs. اكتب لي ثلاث جمل بتعبر عن التقاليد العادات والتقاليد الفلسطينية المتعلقة بالأفراح صور كويس صور صورة كويسة وارسلها على كلاس روم الواجب الثاني ارجع على الكلمات الجدول الكلمات and write it on your notebook اكتبه على دفترك بصورة واضحة وارسل الصورة على كلاس روم okay now let's go to check our objectives again At the end of this lesson, students should be able to 
recognize different customs for the uh, for different countries yes i believe we we achieved for chinese عرفنا ثقافة الصينيين and uh, Scotland uh, American uh, and uh, a lot of countries okay تعرفنا عليهم and use the new vocabulary in a correct context I believe yes we di we did this uh, objective uh, and pronounce the new vocabulary correctly yes many times we did it many times and comprehend the issues that they listen to, I believe, yes, you should. Now is the, it is the time for saying goodbye and thank you. Have a nice day.